Why is the not the one who's laughing. I can't let that go. Really okay. I can't okay. let it go because this shit is right here. It's not you fucking a joke. This is not something when you laugh at. This guy is not laughing. Okay, it's all good. He's not. He's laughing at us. They fucking laughed at us. Okay, but can we go back to the time talking? Mike, check. Mike, check. Let the man get back to talking, okay? The man came to dialogue, dialogue with us. So, sir. Only 1% of the time. Come back. Come back. All right. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. There's one second. So, you know, working at 14. I started working when I was 14, and I've saved my money since. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'm working since I was 14, and I've saved my money since. I'm still living off my savings. I also work another job while I'm in school in order to pay my I'm on scholarships. I, mean, I got good grades in high school. I got good grades in community college. I went to community college for the first two years so I could afford to go to a private institution for my second year. I've gone to different, I've gone through different programs to my education so I could afford it. I saw my situation. I evaluated it. I did not want to do this anymore. I saw my situation. I evaluated it. And I said, this is what I have to do to succeed. The nature of the system. There's a reason my family left the USSR. Because when you're in the USSR, you can only get so much. You get to a point where you're in your shack, you're in your one bedroom, you have just enough to eat, you have maybe somewhere to sleep, but you can get no further. As far as healthcare, when my father had appendicitis, they cut him open and he puked out the side of the bed. They asked him his religion on his bed because it's a very anti-Semitic country. That is what you get with communism. You get bureaucracies where people fall through the cracks. You get an understanding where you can never rise above. You can never create. If we stop capitalism right now, better yet, if we stop capitalism when Karl Marx wanted to stop capitalism, we would be on horse and buggies right now. You see these electric lights? No electric lights. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. I wonder. I wonder. If Everyone inside that building, if everyone, everyone inside, inside that, that building, building has worked as hard as, has worked as, hard as you have, as, as you have, and has worked as hard and has and worked, worked as hard as these people have, as these people, people have, have since they were 14, since, since they were 14, 14, since they were 12, since, since they were 12, 12, saving money, saving money, money, and trying to move up, and, and trying, trying to move up. up. That's what I wonder. That's, That's what, what I wonder. wonder. What do you think? You know what I think? I think that 80% of them, maybe even 90% of them, worked every bit as hard as I did. And for those 10% who did, who didn't work as hard as I did, maybe their parents made a lot of money. But as a, as a father, as a mother, would you want to give the best to your children if you have it to give? And if they, go, if they do have it to give, why should we look down upon them for instilling the best for their children? Some people have to work. I had to work. My parents had to work. Theirs before them. Some people are lucky. But it's the fact that we have the opportunity that you can start at humble beginnings and become one of them is what makes the system Okay, I, got, I got two, two quick things though. Okay, now first of all, are you aware of the fact that technology is taking a lot of jobs? I mean, you, you go into a store, you got self-checkout, a lot of bankers losing their jobs to online banking, a lot of auto workers being, being replaced by robots and so forth and so on. And the, the, the list goes on. And the other thing Do you like your iPod? Is, okay, huh? Do you like your iPod? Yeah. Okay, just, yeah, just, just okay, check. But, but the, the other thing though is that you have kids working in sweatshops in South America, I mean, 10 years old, they should be in school, they're working for $2 a day, and then that stuff is being sold to Walmart, and then we're buying it at a discount, but the reason we get it at a discount is because of the exploitation. So, I mean, I just want to know if you're, if you're aware of the loss of jobs due to technology and also to the exploitation in sweatshops and whatnot. Absolutely, and let me respond to that. Number one, as far as technology goes, you have a Canon camera, you have an Apple iPod, Canon iPod. What these are, these are corporations who are expanding your mother chip, excuse me, your motherboard was most likely made in Malaysia, your sensor was probably made in China. 
here's the thing. Technology has allowed us the opportunity. This whole movement is based around Twitter, around Facebook, around the ability of mass information to bring us together. What allows that is the invention of corporations. Why are businesses not here? Why are jobs not here? Because we tax companies so hard that they have no choice but to go to other countries. Because they can't be here, because they can't afford it. Americans, American companies want to build America. They have no choice because they have to build because they can't afford it for the bottom line. The one gets their voice heard all the time. So now it's our time to speak. Let's form a line and block traffic. Yes, okay. Okay. why not? Okay. That's how you know. Okay. <laughs> right. Well, actually, thank, thank you one percent. Okay. You all are fucking this country. How many at one percent? Right, everyone. <laughs> Trust me, I can count the one percent. No, how is he at one percent? How is he at one percent? No, no, you're the one. How are we? How many are making you? You're the one percent wealthiest people. What y'all doing? So the one percent wealthiest. People. I work in public and press relations. So I'm a student. So, so, so you might not be one percent. Oh, and I'm a marine. So I really, I guarantee you. You work for the workers. Okay, he said he just did it. He's a marine, right? Okay. Well, well in that case, you are the 99 percent. Would a marine come here? Okay. And I know. I know okay. we're having arguments. Okay. Let's try to hold the space for now. Okay. 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 So I'll, I'll close it out. I'll close it out. Can we do that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So, Mike Jack. Uh, we, we appreciate your time. Oh, we, we, we appreciate the intelligent dialogue, but we got we got to close it down and, and get back to our action. Okay? I'm a, so, you said a marine so, will come here and laugh. I can always appreciate the intelligent conversation. Even if we don't agree with you, even if we don't see eye to eye. Check it out. Okay. It's all going to be online. So, okay, if it's online. NBC, Fox News, I don't give a fuck. He should be coming here yeah. laughing. Just said, oh, I'm a, I'm a Marine. Would a Marine come here and laugh at it? No, they won't. No, they won't. No, they won't. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. We just had a march with the Marines in New York. None of them was laughing. I think we should all remember Fuck out of here. It's all good. It's all good. It's a fucking joke. Get the guy out of here. But when you get the chance, it's a fucking joke. Get him out of here. Fuck you. It's not to engage. To hold down the street, to hold down the intersection.